Hello everybody, my name is Carmen and welcome back to our Shadow of the Colossus playthrough. So today we have some pretty cool ones to do. We're going to fight Hydras and I think we're gonna fight Kuramori. I forget the second one that we have to defeat today, but Hydras is one of my favorites. She is, or they are, so so cool, I don't know, but it's a Colossus, it doesn't really have a specific gender, but <laughs> they are a really, really cool one. I forget where they are. Oh, I think we need to go like all the way up, like past the, the desert and stuff, so we'll get to see some of that. But yeah, it's been a while since I did another playthrough of this. I've, I've kind of been spacing these ones out a bit between the Animal Crossing content I've done and the God of War as well. However, I have decided that I'm not going to be continuing the God of War. I'm, I know it's kind of weird me announcing it in this video, but I don't think I'm going to be continuing the God of War Ragnarok because... Yeah. I feel like it's more of a chore to record it rather than me actually experiencing it and having fun. I find like I'm always trying to figure out what to say and then by doing that I don't really have a nice experience but the God of War games are some of my favorites ever and I really want to experience this at its full potential for myself so I have a couple episodes up but I think that I'm going to stop that for now. If in the future if people want me to actually continue it then of course I would. But, oh, I girl. But I think just for my own experience, I am going to just do it by myself now, on my own time. And I think that's a good decision because there isn't really a lot of people viewing it, which means I don't think they really enjoy it because, well, of course, it's just, it's a small series on this channel. I think Animal Crossing is very, very popular on this channel, so. But I would never quit this game because... I have a lot of fun recording it, so why would I stop? Look at this bridge. It's so cool. And it's so cool how a lot of the things in this land, it's all destroyed, right? But this is so conveniently untouched, it looks like, the bridge, I mean. But we have our first little shrine here of the day. Okay, I'm gonna hop off you. How do I hop off again? I forgot the controls. How do I hop off? Am I just being weird right now? How do I hop off? I pressed that before. I tried pressing X and it just didn't let me get off. It's weird anyways. Okay, we gotta be quiet here. Oh, there he is. Take it nice and easy. Nice and slow. Did I get him? Or did I just knock him down? I think I got him. Cool. Yeah, I also love- I talk about the pacing in this a lot with the, the Colossi and stuff, and of course this is open world, but I also love how with this one, the location you have to go to, it really allows you to- um... Did I not get him? Where's the tail? Did it fall? Oh. He fell down here. I see it. But also, with going to these colossi that are over here, you get to see a lot of the land and how it's been designed. Like this, it's like a desert, you know what I mean? Which is very cool compared to the big grassy fields that you usually see, or the forests that we have gone through. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's, on one of the top of these big rocks along the bridge, there's a little collectible. I, s I showed you guys in the last playthrough that we had the the collectible near the easter egg it like made the sound through the controller so i have collected a lot of those in my other saves so i i know there's one i i got the one at the very end right there if you can see the entrance where the bridge starts i got a collectible there because i was able to get up onto the tower and run the whole way which took forever but it's totally worth it because it's so cool just to see places that you feel like you're not supposed to go but it's totally goable nice word but yeah but i think there's a co um, a collectible on one of the tops of those is that gonna jump oh, no i thought she was gonna jump oh i just crushed that little guy i feel bad oh, i love hydra so much the designs of these are so cool 
So you can see just the little salamanders running around everywhere. Okay, let's get off. Circle worked this time. Or, sorry, X worked this time. Let's see where he is. Sometimes they're on the ground too, so. Oh, salamander. Where are you? Oh, there, 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 there. Don't scare aggro. There we go. Another one down. If you hit them and you don't get them fully and they're about to run away, you can hit them with their s with uh, your sword before they run away. Which is funny. Yeah, sometimes Agra doesn't want to come to to us. She just kind of takes her time. But we won't be needing her for yeah. this yeah. this Colossus. That's for sure. I think Agra would have a bit of a struggle trying to help out. And I like how this this place is kind of like well, a lot of the places are, but I like how it's kind of gloomy. Cuz you can see there, of course we were in the desert and it was a lot brighter and and stuff, but you can see now it's like really gloomy. It just really creates a nice atmosphere to it too. But again, with the music, I said this in the first episode, but how it just kicks in at the most perfect times. Just go down here. Oh, I don't want to fall in the water. I want to climb all the way up to the top. Let's climb all the way. We can jump off at the very top. I always like this part. Like you can see the I love the little touches like the the trees growing all up here it's very nice let's just take a look around you can see all these all these things surrounding this like kind of arena but look there's all the ones we've defeated so far isn't that cool all right I'm ready bye aggro Watch this. Can you hear that? Oh, I love the sound of this one. Looks like he has a big beard. A little mustache. <laughs> Here we go, as you can see, like, look at that. That is so cool. So we have to get his attention. And once his eyes turn orange, then that's how we know. Do you see me? No, I'm over here. <gasps> Sir. How do you not see me? Hello? Okay, let's race then. Huh? Let's race. Like, look how cool that is. Like, how glowy and- oh, I, I forgot I was underwater. <laughs> he must see me now. Yep, he sees me. So he's gonna come after me. We have to make sure we get out of the way of these guys, though, because they will shock us. Grab, grab, grab. No, I missed it. I completely missed it. But look how big he was. I just, I always, I always mess up at that part because I'm so like paranoid about getting shocked, which it doesn't do any, like it barely does any damage at all. But I still, I don't want to get shocked. Hello, I'm right here. There he is. He gets so angry. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and go like right over top. See what I mean? I think I might get shocked here. There we go. We're on. 
Like, look how cool this is. You can't do anything while you're underwater. You kind of just have to wait for him to resurface. This is the same music as um, the start of Gaius's phase, remember? But now we can go and... It's, it's, it's tedious, you kind of have to take your time a lot with this one, it's pretty slow, but I like it a lot. It's just so cool, you get to ride on this big serpent in the water, you know? But I have to, I have to get up there quicker because he's going to go back down again. So we have to get his weak spots on each of these. I'm gonna take that chance right now. So that's one gone. So now that's useless. He can't shock us with that one anymore. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. Oh I could have done that easily. Yeah, I could have done that, but I'm gonna wait. Oh I got shocked. Weird. I thought I was far enough away. So now that one's good. I think he's gonna go underneath now. Well, maybe not. Okay, we have a bit more time. Don't shock me, please. And he's going back down. So now there's nothing I can do. I just have to- I can hold on for as long as I want. He's still not gonna resurface. And of course, I'm gonna lose my grip meter, so we have to wait for him once more. And this one kind of sucks because we have to wait for him to... We have to start at the very end of his tail and work our way all the way up. And as you can see, it kind of took a while. But I'm still here. Come get me. I wonder if they make Colossus glasses or contacts because this guy is having a hard time seeing me. Maybe the water's too muddy. I don't know. See all these like bubbles, like very thin water particles flying up? Can he see me? Because he made a noise. Oh, he can see me, alright. Here, shock me, I dare you. Actually, I, 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 I regret saying that. Okay, thank you. But look at how... Watch the little... See how it's like just about to break the surface? Just like the little, I don't know what to call them. Not horns. Little electrocution things, but look at us going for a ride. But they just like, just break the water. It just looks really cool is what I'm trying to say. They did such a good job with the, the water physics and stuff in this. Because it's like the water actually looks like water, whereas in the game before, it, um, oh, it looked like something. It was definitely something. Do we ever sort out? We're almost there. And if everything goes right, this will be our last time trying to get him up over the water. Why am I not holding on? Why am I not holding on? Why did Wander let go there? Uh oh. I panicked. But I was I was holding it and he didn't. He just let go. This guy's pretty easy, he only has one glyph. He's almost down already. He's kind of weird though because he throws you around so much so it's kind of hard to finish him off but there we go Hydras. It's so sad when they die. I said it before and I'll say it again they're just little innocent creatures just holding something that's within them protecting something that's inside them we just come in and kill them but I guess we're trying to revive somebody too so.
such a cool concept for a game. Just completely open world, do whatever you want. No quests, it's just boss battles every time. And I love it. Where are the... Can we see the little things coming up towards us? Let's see. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Jump scare. But there we go. There's Hydras. A very, very nice one. And it's like every time we're in this little little cutscene thing back to the temple, you can kind of like hear Mono in the background. If for anybody who forgot, Mono is the person who we're trying to revive here, who we're trying to save. Which I think is a nice touch. Look how many people, look how many friends we have. Seven down. Who's our next foe? Yeah, it's Kuramori, as I said before. You see, I hate to say, but I do not really like Kuramori. Or Kuramori, or however you pronounce it. I I don't like him that much. I don't know why. Here, let's see. He is... Um... I forget where he is, actually. He's not down here. I think he's more so... Anyways, I forget. We'll just have to use our sword. She's coming the other side. Okay, let's go. Let's go fight this guy. So, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I like the arena this one's in. Like, it's pretty cool, but I just don't like the way you kind of have to do it. I don't know. I just find it kind of... It's just one of those. Kind of like Barba, when it, it comes up, it's just like, I'm not really excited for them. So, of course, it's a, it's a great one to fight, but oh, wait, can I get up? I could have, oh, if I remembered how to do the controls, I could have went and hopped up on the, on the hawk. I usually get lost going to this one. I don't know how, but... Because you have to go through a bunch of, like, stuff, so... Oh, wait. Wait, which way do I go? Okay. Don't worry, guys, I know. Don't worry. Don't you worry, aggro. See, she's like tugging and stuff. It's like I'm trying to go one way and she like goes the complete opposite. Oh, it's literally right here. <laughs> it's in this like cavern or this cave, I guess. But here we go. I'm going to get off because it's just easier to run. Oh, I guess not. But I want to take in this view because look. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? The design of this game is so, so nice. I love it. And it's that's a lot of the reason too why it's my favorite game is just the scenery. Because there's not a whole lot to do in this game other than the bosses. It's just when you're traveling like this, good scenery really pulls it together. And they done this beautifully, so. And actually, this is my favorite area of the map, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're in the, the place that... Just before you get there. To Kormori. I guess I could have got on aggro, but we're here now, so. 
Look at it. You can hang on to some fish here. Maybe I can try that. Uh, maybe, maybe like next time, but... You can like hang on to fish. Is there any? Hmm. Maybe I'll try next time. I should just do an episode of doing like... Fun- well, it's very tempting actually. See, look at the fish. I think that's what I'm gonna do. See? Look, he can hold on to the fish. <laughs> you just hold on until... And you can get, uh... Bro... Um, accomplish... Or whatever. Achievements for it. I couldn't think of the word for some reason. But that... Isn't that funny? It's just a cool thing to do. Cool feature. But sorry, aggro. You cannot come again. Okay, left or right, which one? Always left. I don't know why. I always choose- if there's ever a chance or a choice I have to make between left and right, I always choose left. But it's like, again with the, the story behind it, this wasn't built for nothing. All of this stuff wasn't just built to keep a colossus in here, you know what I mean? So it just begs the question of what was it used for? And I really think there are like people here beforehand. But enough talking. We need to give the stage to Kuramori. But look at him. He's kinda cool because he glows more in this in this uh remake. But his music is cool though. Really cool. So you can either shoot him to get his attention or you can whistle. And I love that music change. Like, such a good soundtrack. And then you get to the other side and you can... Is he going up that side? Yeah. So now we have to... get his weak spots. Now let's do this one first. Uh-oh. So we gotta kind of be quick about this, you know? Okay, go, go, go. We don't have time for this. So he spits terrible poison at you, which will literally kill you so fast. I got caught by it once. I don't know how. It's the easiest thing to avoid, but once you get caught in that... Yeah, he has too. But I'm gonna give that a break because he's gonna hop right up now. Anyways, once you get caught in that poison, it's it just ticks your health bar down so so fast. That's why this guy's kind of annoying, but we gotta go all the way up these stairs now. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna spit the poison? I think I'm gonna shoot him this time, just to show you guys that- Uh oh. It scared me. That was him shooting his poison. Oh, we're at the top now. I just wanna show you guys how you can do both. Here, let's see. Can we see him? I think we have to go to an opening. But I don't wanna go all the way over there. Oh, here we go. Do you think I can get him? Can I get him? No, I can't get him from here. Oh, Kuramori. I'm just gonna whistle. Because I didn't want to go all the way over. There he is. Why is he going so high? Whoa, why is he coming towards me? I'm having such a bad shot here. He's looking for me though. See what I mean? I 
having trouble with this guy. I don't know why. I, I haven't played for so long. I'm kind of just getting... A little rusty with this whole game. See him shooting his poison? Okay, hold still for one second, please. Oh my goodness, he's not staying still. Okay, there we go, finally. Now let's switch. Whoopsies. Oh, I'm falling! I'm falling, no! That, like, killed me. Okay, let's get this guy once and for all. Kurmori, you're going down. One more. And say goodnight, because that is all she wrote from Kurmori. God, that was a little dramatic, don't you think? See what I mean? I just don't really like him that much. He's cool. He's really cool. It's a cool way to... It's a cool Colossus, but... I don't know. It just didn't really catch my attention that much. But there we go. Another two defeated. See, listen. That's Mono. I think that's her first, like, real line that we've heard. Well, because before she just kind of, like, made noises. But she actually tried to say something there. Oh, look, look. Just dreaming. As you can kind of see on his wrists there, he's kind of starting to look a little bit different, huh? <laughs> Peace flew up. After we find out who our next foe is, I'll let you know what I mean by how he looks a bit different. Almost there. Halfway wander. Thy next foe is. Uh oh. This is probably my favorite one. If not my favorite, definitely tied for first with one of the other ones, but this one is so cool. Anyways, I'm going to show you really quick just before I sign off here about what I mean by his skin. But you can kind of see on like his his neck and stuff, you can see that those like black looking vein type looking things. Yeah, that was not there before, let's just say. So yeah, you can see really see on his wrists and arms and stuff. So I'll let you guys interpret what that means. But until then, that is going to be the end of this playthrough, so... Oh, Agro's coming here for the sign-off. So that was another two Colossi I defeated. It was amazing. Also, before I say anything else, did you see how many doves there were? Every single one that we defeat, there's another dove added, as well as the, like, the weird kind of creatures that stand around us, the shadows. There's another one that's added onto it. Anyways, so yeah, we just defeated another two Colossi. They were very fun. I loved Hydras. 
didn't love Kuromori that much, but it was still great nonetheless. And yeah, so that was great. And we'll be back for another one. But until then, thank you to anybody and everybody who watched this video. I really, really appreciate it. And I would also appreciate if you subscribed and liked this video. Subscribing and liking really pushes our channel out to more people. It helps our channel to grow and in turn inspires me to make more of this content. So yeah. And once again, thank you for watching and I will see you with another video very soon. Bye.